If you have teeth growing in the roof of your mouth, you might have a condition called hyperdontia. It happens when the special tissue that develops tooth buds is overactive and produces more than normal. Hello and welcome to Weird Health News with the E-Z-E-N-W-A-N-Y-I.com. Yes, the Queen Boo. Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating dental condition known as hyperdontia. This condition is characterized by having supernumerary teeth, or extra teeth beyond the normal number. We'll explore its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment options, and much more. Let's get started. What is hyperdontia? Hyperdontia is a condition where individuals develop extra teeth in addition to the standard 20 primary teeth and 32 permanent teeth. These extra teeth can appear in any part of the dental arch and can vary in shape and size. Supernumerary teeth can be classified into different types based on their location and shape. The most common types are mesiodens, which are extra teeth located in the midline of the upper jaw. Other types include paramolar, distamolar, and supplemental teeth, which resemble normal teeth. Causes and Risk Factors The exact cause of hyperdontia is not fully understood, but it is believed to be influenced by genetic and environmental factors. Studies suggest that a combination of genetic mutations and environmental influences during tooth development may play a role. Hyperdontia can run in families, indicating a genetic predisposition. It is also associated with certain syndromes and conditions, such as Gardner's syndrome, cleidocranial dysplasia, and cleft lip and palate. However, it can also occur in individuals without any underlying conditions. Symptoms and Complications Let's look at the symptoms and potential complications of hyperdontia. While some individuals with extra teeth may not experience any symptoms, others may face various dental issues. Common symptoms include crowding of teeth, misalignment, and difficulty chewing or speaking. Supernumerary teeth can cause complications such as delayed eruption of permanent teeth, impaction, and the formation of cysts or tumors. In some cases, they can also lead to aesthetic concerns affecting a person's smile and overall dental health. Diagnosis and Detection Diagnosing hyperdontia typically involves a clinical examination and dental x-rays. During the examination, we look for any signs of extra teeth or irregularities in the dental arch x-rays help us visualize the exact number, position, and impact of the supernumerary teeth. Diagnostic tools include panoramic x-rays, cone beam computed tomography, CBCT, and intraoral examinations. These tools provide detailed images of the teeth and jaw, allowing dentists to assess the extent of hyperdontia and plan appropriate treatment. Treatment Options Treatment for hyperdontia depends on several factors, including the number, location, and impact of the extra teeth. In many cases, surgical removal of the supernumerary teeth is recommended to prevent complications and improve dental function. Surgical removal involves extracting the extra teeth under local or general anesthesia. The procedure is relatively straightforward, but the recovery process requires careful postoperative care to ensure proper healing and minimize the risk of infection. In some cases, orthodontic treatment may be necessary to address misalignment or crowding caused by the extra teeth. Orthodontic braces or aligners can help realign the teeth and improve the overall appearance and function of the dental arch. Prevention and Awareness Raising awareness about hyperdontia is essential for early detection and treatment. Educating parents, teachers, and the community about the signs and symptoms can help identify cases early and prevent complications. Preventive dental care, including regular checkups and x-rays, plays a crucial role in monitoring dental development and identifying any abnormalities. Early intervention can help manage hyperdontia effectively and improve long-term dental health outcomes. Future Research and Advancements Exciting research is underway to better understand the genetic and environmental factors contributing to hyperdontia. Advances in genetic testing and imaging technology are paving the way for more accurate diagnosis and targeted treatments. We're hopeful that ongoing studies will provide new insights into the causes of hyperdontia and lead to innovative treatment approaches. 
Understanding the genetic basis of the condition may also help in developing preventive strategies in the future. If you have teeth growing in the roof of your mouth, you might have a condition called hyperdontia. It happens when the special tissue that develops tooth buds is overactive and produces more than normal. Now, this tissue can appear anywhere in the mouth, and in some people, it can congregate and grow teeth in the roof of your mouth. These excess teeth can be surgically removed by an oral surgeon. Thank you for joining us as we explored the world of hyperdontia. It's a unique and complex dental condition, but with awareness, early detection, and appropriate treatment, individuals can achieve better dental health and quality of life. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more in-depth discussions on important health topics. See you next time! What do you think about this video? Have you heard of this? Have you or anyone you know experienced this? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to sit high with confidence, rooted on your throne, with strength built from pain not forgotten. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, and hit that bell to receive notifications of when we upload a new video. Also, check out our merch at ezinwanyi.com.